Hey guys, I'm back again with another video for Battalion 1944. Uh, I have kind of an updated perspective on the game after the newest update that they just released. And I released a video a couple weeks ago uh, letting you guys know my thoughts on the game and saying, yeah, you know, give the game a try. At the time, I felt like that was the right thing to do. But I have to give you guys uh, a new perspective that I gained on this game. So most of you guys know that the game's been in a decline or dead for quite some time. Uh, is the game bad? No, it's 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 a fun game. It's not the best game ever, but it's it's a decent game. Does it have bad graphics? They're okay. Bad, you know. Does it have bad gunplay, bad movement, bad baps? No, they're they're all decent. Um, the problems this game has is people just don't want to play it. It's as simple as that. You start playing the game, and you, you, you'll you realize quickly that there's not enough people to actually sustain gameplay. We have maybe one or two games going on with like 10, 20, 30 minute queue times during the day. And at night, maybe three or four games going on at most. And Bulkhead has released a free weekend for the game this weekend. And the numbers are just not there for game sustainability or for player count i'm going to show you guys a little bit uh of the current state of the game right now to give you guys a perspective before you decide to buy it on this free weekend so here we go this is their website i just want to show you guys they don't have anything on their website anymore there's no timeline for the game there's nothing saying that what they're going to do in the future i guess that's okay because they have a discord that you can talk to the devs right on it's not really the best they haven't been talking too much to everybody uh but you can definitely give feedback on their discord uh they have a twitter they post updates on sometimes but their website is just pretty dead um you know they they have their partnership with square enix which has nothing on it as well it's just the description of the game a little bit of media so you could buy the game um uh, and then we have the i, I want to show you guys this the steam charts for this game they have uh if you guys don't know the steam charts they have Basically, the, the complete history and record of the game. Well, if you look at the, at the early days, you know, it's never really been popular with peak uh, players 10, 20, 30. Then we have jumps when streamers start to play it of like 16,000 uh, players. And then the next month, dead. There's nothing. As soon as the streamer stops playing, there's no retention for the game. People just aren't interested. And you can see it slowly dying, slowly dying. Maybe a streamer started playing again here. But then it dies and dies and dies. And then I think this is when we had Shroud or some other people play. And it picked up. And then the next month, it just died. And with the free weekend, if we look, there's, you know, the peak players. It says 1,500. But I don't even think that's true. I think that's people leaving their game on. Because if we look at the game, if I open up the game right now. This is the game here. This is the competitive screen. The game Wartai, the game you're going to be wanting to play. And if we look how many games are going on right now, there's on face it is there is there uh, what they use for competitive. They have one game going on with eight players in queue. There's one match going on right now. These people in queue have probably been waiting, you know, 22 minutes for the game or longer, which is just ridiculous, I think. And then if you play the uh, the other modes they have, unranked war tide is competitive. Uh, but not ranked and it's there's it's, you're just playing against bots. They have the arcade mode There's a few players in there, but again just bots the players just aren't here and I thought to myself why aren't people playing this game and it's it's The, the reason I found is there's just too many better games out there uh, This game doesn't hold up stand do the devs try yes, they try they uh, they do live streams for when they develop, when they release uh, new content, when they're making new maps. You know, they talk to people. They do try, but it's just not there. And you're going to be spending the uh, $12 on the free weekend that the sale they have now, or the $25, uh, the normal price for it. And you're just going to be uh, throwing it away because you won't be able to play. And it's only a matter of time before the devs just give up and you're not going to be able to actually play the game at all. It will happen because the players just up and down and every time it goes down it goes down a little further so let's look at the uh reviews real quick the recent reviews with the free weekend are mostly negative we're not going to look at the uh the reviews of the people that have like over 100 hours because those are old players posting new reviews but let's look at the new players um you know 
people just say bad game. I do not recommend this game. It's full of bots and cheaters. There's not a whole lot of cheaters, but it's full of bots because there's not the active player base. We have the game is very good. I want to play it, but it's dead mostly. This is on a free weekend. We're seeing this. So, you know, you're not going to be able to play. This is at least in the North American perspective. We don't have the player base to sustain this game. We have mostly negative reviews because people can't play. So I want to wrap this up by saying that uh, the new update that the devs put out made me make this video because the update is just not what we needed. It added some features that kind of threw people off even more. Uh, we have the new map updates that uh, were okay, but the graphics, everyone said they look kind of weird. It just kind of made everything weird and it's not what we needed for um, sustainable gameplay and sustainable players. So before you guys buy the game, really consider this. Are you even going to be able to play when you want to play? When you do play, how long are you going to be able to continue playing for? Because it's not sustainable. If we look at the numbers, it just keeps going down. So if I was to recommend now, today, if you should buy the game, I would say no. It's not a bad game, but it's not worth your money because you probably can't play it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.